Do I have to pay quarterly taxes as an LLC? So my name is Laurel Langmeyer. I'm an expert in living corporate life. Cannot wait to share with you whether you have to pay quarterly taxes or you pay the year after your tax year end when most appropriate corporations pay, which is September 15th, and you personally file October 15th. Three things I want to share with you today is understanding the importance of business structure and what is the differences to you and the benefits to you. How do you actually maximize the deductions and more importantly, how do you organize to structure them properly? And then I'm going to answer the big question. Do you really need to pay quarterly LLC taxes or not? Stay to the end for that answer. You're going to be surprised. So number one, understand the difference between the business structures. So in America, there are four structures. There's LLCs, S Corp, C Corps, limited partnerships, ideally held in a trust. I have an entire team that I I put together called Integrated Wealth Systems just for that reason because the financial services world is extremely segregated. So who should be doing this work are CPAs, accountants. You say, well, why don't they usually bring it up? Because here's what most CPAs say. Well, you don't make enough money to qualify to have a company yet. So they're using income instead of intention. I use intention. Do you want to live a wealthy life? Do you want to be a millionaire? Do you want to make your kids millionaires? Well, living in corporate structure, which is the greatest IRS code in the world because we have 81,000 pages of tax code. So the difference between them is vast. So you don't want to just go to say a legal Zoom or what I call the $99 store to get incorporated. You want to actually call our team and talk to our team. So I have a link below where you can call for a strategy session. I need to talk to someone about getting incorporated. Now we're not going to just do one thing. That actually is the basis of what then becomes your tax filing is how you are corporately structured. Because an S Corp, a limited partnership and LLCs are what's called pass-throughs. So they're going to file tax December 31st. They close your end. But all of the corporations, they actually can file tax in September 15th, as I said, of the next year. So right now we're recording this at the end of 2023. So 2023 taxes for our community, our clients will be filed in the company September 15th and then you on October 15th. So all of that is added up. Now a C Corp's different. It can have a different tax year end. So you actually keep your money moving between your own multiple corporate structures, completely legal and completely defined and no commingling any of that. You have management or holding companies. However, our expert team set it up. That's what you follow. Then where I come in as your navigator is I'm going to actually navigate your sequence and the structure of how do these companies work together? How does the money flow so you have the best tax strategy? And I'm getting to the big wind up at the end. Do you have to pay quarterly taxes in LLC or an answer at all? How you are corporately structured takes a pro. Now to totally get this in your brains, because we're trained to be employees, not entrepreneurs. I want to also give you two tickets to our millionaire in it is a 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time show. We do it about every three, four weeks, and it's here for you. It's here to learn about corporate life, really understand what it takes to be a millionaire. And this is the stuff I made up. This is stuff I studied and for generations of families. They've all done it the same way. How they made their money, how they invested their money is different, but they all activated the greatest tax code in the world. And by the way, if you're listening internationally, because I know I have a big contingent out there, this is available to you too. You just don't have 81,000 pages of tax code. Code. You have more like 3,200, 3,400, 2,800, much more lower structure in doing deductions and exemptions. So your structure is where the basis of this starts. Now, what are some of the deductions you can do? So number two, let's talk about maximizing the deductions and how do you organize it? So first of all, we start with the big foundation of you, are you and your social security number, including if you're a sole proprietor. So that is off the table. No more sole proprietors. That just means suffering solo and very low opportunity. You get like 13 to 30 deductions in that status and you have no asset protection, no liability protection. So then the corporation, say you have an LLC, an S Corp and a C Corp, just because, and I'm not going to talk about the details of it. Well, all of these have different corporate structures. They have different tax ID numbers. They all have different credit and corporate credit. They all have different accounting, say QuickBooks systems or whatever you're using for QuickBooks. And you keep them non-commingled, meaning you can't buy something the S Corp needs for the LLC and vice versa. Now, if you do and you make a mistake, then you use expense reports and actually do a good documentation, which is why I love running on your bank statements being reconciled and your credit cards, because the credit cards can keep you really organized. And every time you're checking out, for those of you that are going to be really new to this, you think, well, is it my LLC that might own real estate or my S Corp that's an operating company or my C Corp that's a management company? Which company should pay those bills? And that's where I come in behaviorally and help restructure how you pay bills. We don't call it budgeting. We call it forecasting. How do you actually live corporate life to its fullest and reduce all of your taxes? 
taxes as much as possible by activating the code. There's 81,000 pages of code. The one big chunk of code most people forget and don't have a lot of support with is officer and director benefits. So again, if you want to talk to our team, get on that link, get to our strategy session, go to our millionaire intensive, and let's talk this through. As we come into 2024, we will be putting out a report of all the new things that are going to be required. There's going to be a corporate transparency act where you're going to actually have to register through a portal all the beneficiary owners and all their information down to your social security number and home address. Super exciting. Welcome to privacy gone in the United States. So we'll see how that actually unfolds and what that's becoming, but we will keep you up to date. So stay here on my YouTube channel. For that, I want you to subscribe, click that notification button. I want you here five days a week. This is family friendly. So make sure if you haven't gone out and bought one of our YouTube journals, you have it. What a great holiday gift for you and everyone in your family, including your parents, if they're not paying attention to living corporate life. So inside of here, it gives you what day the video was, what the title of the video, what you learn, what are you going to do? And you start building a plan. So what it does is it involves your kids at a very different level because what they're going to hear from where they are and their experience is so different than what you're going to hear and what you need to be doing as the parent. So we built every asset that you need, meaning every tool that you need. So you can actually build this life for you and your families. If there's a topic that's not, you know, you can't find it in our search bar or in our playlist, put it in the comment section below and share this video with a lot of people. Now let's get to the finale. Do you have to pay quarterly taxes? And I would say in most situations, our teams would say no, because why pay now when you have a year to strategize all of your tax structure together? So if you had, say, in that example, an LLC and an S corp, which flow through to you, right, going to file with you, but your C corp could file a different year end, you have some different tax strategies. You also have tax strategies, how you invest. Most people don't look at how you invest as a tax strategy, which we're going to teach you as you get into more wealth building, because real estate has good depreciation schedules. Gas and oil is the king of the kingdom. Massive depreciation schedules. Aviation has good depreciation schedules. Mineral rights, water rights. So if you're not investing into those and all you're doing is parking your money in the stock market with a financial planner and praying, now you're in capital gains problems. So it depends on the entirety of the plan, not just whether the LLC should file quarterly taxes. I had a client ask me this morning, shouldn't I get my quarterly taxes filed? My old CPA used to do it. We're like, no. If you're strategic enough, we're going to be balancing what you pay at the end, September 15th. 15th of the year after your books close. That's how long you have to plan, strategize, and organize. Now, you can't go back and recreate the year. So it gives you nine months to file your taxes, do your qualified plans, your Roth IRAs, all those kind of investments. But all of the paperwork and choices had to be made in the tax year end. So no, most of our people don't pay quarterly. It's not necessary. You have to file once a year. Absolutely. And we're huge fans. Let a CPA, let a tax strategist do it. I've assembled this team now for over 20 years for the best in class were the only ones that integrate all these segregated financial services just for you and your family. So we say no, challenge it all day long. And if you have any questions or really want to talk about it, go to asklaurel.com, A-S-K-L-O-R-A-L, asklaurel.com, ask a question, make a request. We're here five days a week. We're on Ask Laurel 24-7 to answer your questions. We'll talk to you tomorrow.